We're surprised that uh, there isn't more coverage devoted to what's going on in northeast Nigeria. It was a lot of more election campaign talk. Uh, how present in the minds is what's going on there uh, where you are? Yes, I'm virtually not present. I have to tell you, um, what you see in the papers is a reflection of the reality on the street. Um, most Nigerians are not talking about Baga, which is unfortunate. We're used to the bomb blast now. We're used to the killings now. Um, everybody's practically obsessed about the elections. And, and uh, this takeover of Baga, we've seen all these confusing and conflicting reports. What have, what's your feeling on it? Um, it's, it's just unfortunate that um, when these things happen, the first thing that comes to your mind is, you will never get the truth because we know over the over the years that the defense the defense um, report the media team from the defense um, never come up with the truth they they told us lies about uh, about um, the killings of Shekau. right now we don't know whether Shekau is dead or alive i think he's still alive because boko haram remains devastating um, they told us the, the, the chibok girls were not kidnapped in april then they told us later that the girls had been had been rescued. Both things turned out to be to be lies, and several other things that happened over time. And in the in the same world, they would be the they would be in the best position to tell us exactly what's going on. But every Nigerian knows that if, when the when the defense um, media team comes out with an information, an average Nigerian, who is sincere enough, is first of all looking at the information and thinking. Um, I don't think this is true. And then for the journalists, um, the local journalists, they don't have enough funding. I mean, insurance, um, transportation, you know, private jets, moving people around. They don't have enough funding to, to go really deep into the war-torn areas, to go to the front lines to cover the news. The truth of the matter is uh, most of us, including those in government, depend on foreign media to find out exactly what's happening. And that's just what it is at the moment.